What is up, everybody? It's your boy Zani, the greatest, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new, and I got the best Super Soul to use with the Beast Gohan skills. All right, got Enter a Hero. This Super Soul is Dr. Hedo's Super Soul. When using a pose, boost strike skills, boost key blast skills, and can be stacked up to five times. Now, think about it. You have the Beast Gohan transformation, the Beast Awoken, and then you have the Beast Gohan skills, which do a lot of damage. Then you have this, which gives you the tiny ump of boost more, depending on if you're a Strike Super. Now, I have a Strike Super build, but it also works for Key Blast builds, as you can see. Now, first thing you're wondering is, like, oh, wait, we got to use a pose? No, I don't think too much into it. All right, you can easily just go ahead and get you an evasive skill. Find a pose. You can find one of these in the skill shop. I will show you guys quickly where to find these we go into the skill shop buy with zenny and you should see them right here one of these poses pick one and you have to do a pose and you can do the pose multiple times which then stacks the z soul or the super soul i'm, I'm, I'm a xenoverse veteran so i'm, I'm gonna say z soul all right but yeah without further ado i'm actually gonna be showing you guys really quick how to get the skills that we are um, actually gonna be using and so of course, you got the special beam cannon beast version. You get this in Man, the Myth, the Yamcha. You have to clear with your own health over 50% and defeat the Yamcha supervillain. Sounds simple enough. This one right here, um, that's Piccolo's move. You have, oh, this one right here. It's parallel quest numbers 160. You have to defeat all enemies, clear in under seven minutes, and defeat the Gogeta. All right. Um, this is where you win Demon Ray, Demon Flash Strike, and Demon Flurry, which is the moves I'm going to be showing, showcasing in um, the training. Uh, other than that, that is Piccolo's moves, and so that is the how you get the ultimate finishes for those and increase your chances. And also, if you do the last one, which is 162, you get that parallel quest, or not that parallel quest, you get the Super Soul. Um, you send around really with the extra mile, which increases your drop rate. All right, now that we got that covered, we're moving on to the skill set. And so I have the Special Beam Cannon, the Super Kamehameha Beast, and all the, the poses. Right, we are set! We are set and ready to go to showcase this, and I'm going to be like giving my, you know, thoughts and reviews and um, kind of showcasing the Super Soul and how it really works. We got Beast uh, or SSJ, G, whatever. <laughs> SS Blue Zani, and then we got Beast. Let's go ahead and go against Beast. Go ahead on the new map. Give you guys a reference to the new map. How do you guys feel about the new map? I actually am wondering what you guys feel or how you guys feel about that. Um, so let's do this. So. We have, of course, the Beast Transformation, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and transform, all right? Once we do this, we're going to execute one of the moves without the Super Soul, and then we're gonna do it with the Super Soul, all right? Ready, let's do it. All right, it hit it late, but that was like about mm, 3,000 damage. 2202 all right now we're gonna do it with the super soul this is stacked once this is stacked once all right okay what up what up a little bit what up a little bit what up a little bit stack it twice went up a tad bit so you see how incrementally it goes up this is uh the third stack Okay, it's going up by the hundreds. You see it? It's going up by the hundreds. So, this is the fourth stack. Yep, went up again. It's going up by the hundred. Really, I think. This is the final stack. Alright. Wow, that went up another 200, I think. Or like 300. It was like five something and then it went up to eight. I don't think we can stack again. All right, so yeah, when it doesn't pop up again on the side of the screen, you cannot stack it anymore. So looks like that increase does kind of help. <laughs> like it, it helps, it definitely helps, especially when you have the beast transformation on and all that good stuff. So we're gonna restart and try it with uh, another skill. Let's go beast. We're beasting. Be beast. All right. Let's try it with a demon flurry. All right, here we go. Without the super soul and without the final blow. 
All right, that was 1,245. All right, final pose. This is stacked once. One thousand two hundred and ninety-three. Mm, okay. Stack it again. One thousand two hundred ninety-three. One thousand three hundred forty-one. So again, going up by the hundreds. So I'm trying to see if it stays consistent with every skill, or if it's uh the skill, or if the skill, you know, the damage on the skill matters. Okay, that was a little bit more. I think this is the fourth. Fourth step? Alright, it's going up. It's going up. I think this is the last tack. Last tack. Yeah, that one went up a little bit. That, that was a tad bit. Alright, so we're going to restart and try it. That move, Demon Flurry, is actually not my favorite. So, as you can see. But, now we got Demon Ray. Alright, so let's go ahead and go Beast. All right, wait till the stamina or keys goes back up without transform. All right, the damage was 451. This is actually not a very, uh... all right, so stacked once 469. Oh, stacked again. Forty-six. Yeah, this one's this move is not when it comes to damage. It's literally that much of it's just a counter. It really is a counter. So let's just stack it again. Yeah, it's going up like slightly. But as you can see, there is a difference. There is a difference. There's a difference when you use the super soul and when you use the pose. And the uh, pose actually does. It does something like it it it, back, it bounces them away so it's not something that you just gotta you gotta stick there and, and use all right now let's try it with special beam cannon because now i this is not a key blast based character so uh using this i don't know if the damage is gonna be think we're just gonna compare it to what this what it does to this character all right so this is after charge when you're charging it it actually does more damage than the kick but we are gonna do the kick too I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so that's 3,796, all right? Now we have the final pose. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. 3,942. All right, that's, that's almost at 4K already. This is second stack. Give it two charges and boom! We had 4K damage right there with it. Come on, come on, come on! That is, I'm not even paying attention to the numbers because once you pass like 4K, like 4,100, like that's okay. That's that's pretty good. Like you see how. Big, and this is Beast Gohan. See how big his health is. Watch this. This is going to destroy him. That's a KO. Ah, oh, almost. So it looks like the more you do use it, it the, the damage or the damage increase kind of lessens. It like I think that first one is really gives you a big increase. And then the, the last few kind of just... Yeah, it's just got, it goes up by a little bit of 100. Now, this... <laughs> This wasn't mentioned, but it stays up the entire match. Once you use it, your damage is that way for the entire match. So you already get an attack boost. You know what I'm saying? Like you already get an attack boost. Like that's that this is insane. That is insane. You feel me? Now, we're going to try it with the kick. Oh, I almost had him. Hold on, we got to get that. That was a nice combo. I'm trying to do it with the input. No, I wasn't supposed to do it like that. I was supposed to do the kick. 
All right, y'all. Check it. I'm trying to show you, show you guys the kick. So how to do it is you have to hold the ultimate down and tilt up, and you will do that. And it's it's actually confirmed. Once you do this and land it, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do to get out of it. And that's what that's what the super soul are. All right, that's what this is on. So I'm trying to do a combo right quick, though. I want to show you, show you a little combo. Hold up, hold up. Get, got, get, got, get. No, see it. Uh, it's not tricky. Is this? I just keep putting it up. Like, dude, we're gonna do this one more time. Oh, I almost had it. All right, man. I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm cut it, guys. But you guys get this. So you guys see this? How it works and um, how it um, works with the Super Soul, how the transformation works. And I actually think it's a decent one. It's not. It's not a. I'm not saying it's like. Uh, it's it's one of the best ones we've gotten in the last like few DLCs. Uh, but. So I would say use this one. It doesn't have to be used with caution, if I say, like, because again, the evasive can be used. Thing, but it's literally just a boost. It's, it's a small extra boost. What can you? What can you say? That's like, that's the best super soul I can I can say for like people who want to start out with online battling. Um, I say try that super soul out. Get that extra, those small little boosts. They matter. But that's only if you can get it off. So there, there are some downsides. But that was just one of the better Super Souls I found in this DLC. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. And we'll get on some more Xenoverse 2 DLC Pack 16 content. Peace!